He's on the balcony. They scream from the street. The gunman casually reloads and fires again. Hide, they shout. By this time, he had moved through the building, mercilessly killing. But police were closing in. Weapons loaded. They sprint into the Faculty of Arts. The corridors filled with armed police and their frantic commands. This footage is from their body cams. We see their desperate search for the gunman. At first, they find only his victims. Officers crouch over the injured. Some lives can still be saved. Others have already been lost. Target exposed are the cries now. Police think the gunman took his own life, despite their marksmen returning fire. I think due to the fact that he was cornered, left with only one short-range weapon, and that we were closing in on him, he decided to take his own life. There's now a clearer timeline of the events that caused chaos in Old Town Prague yesterday, where people leapt for their lives, built barricades in blind panic, sounds and sights that should be alien here. At 12.26, police get a tip-off from a friend of the gunman who'd received what they called a suicide SMS. 20 minutes later, officers find his father dead at his house. Detectives order an evacuation of one of the university campuses, realizing he could be heading there. At 3.11, the gunman is seen on the philosophy department roof. Meters away, people are clinging to a ledge, trying to escape. At 3.20, the attacker takes his own life. He's been named locally as David Kozak, a 24-year-old student at the philosophy department where he opened fire. Police also suspect he's connected to the murder of a two-month-old baby and her father in the east of Prague earlier this month. In these historic streets, there's grief and disbelief. 14 dead, 27 injured. Our friend was shot in the accident, so we came here to 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 honor what happened. I think they just need to be here also because uh, we just need to be together, like the Czech Republic in this moment. The first victim to be named was Lenka Hlavkova. She was the university's head of musicology. It's extremely cruel news, her colleagues said. The Czech Republic has the most liberal gun laws in Europe. It's believed Kozak owned several firearms legally. And this was the worst mass shooting in its history. Tomorrow will be a day of national mourning.